after years of criminal activity at the Wedgwood Village apartments, including three shootings in the last two weeks, there are new plans to stop the violence. We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. And I'm Jared Smalley. Columbus City attorney is proposing changes for the apartment owners or face consequences. NBC4's Anna Hoffman is live tonight with what he is asking for, Anna. Jennifer and Jared, Columbus City Attorney Zach Klein says violence at Wedgwood will come to an end one way or another. He says this proposal is step one, but for it to be successful, he says he will need help from law enforcement and the community. Wedgwood Village Apartments are on the west side of Columbus. It's right next to an elementary school. It's also a frequent home to crime. Wedgwood is a place of serious concern for us in the city attorney's office. In the last two weeks, there have been three separate shootings. One killed a 13-year-old boy. In the last two years, there have been dozens of shootings at the complex, according to NBC4's archives, at least four fatal. Columbus's city attorney, Zach Klein, says he sent a proposal to the apartment Apartment owners with changes they should make to end the crime. That was developed with, in conjunction with the division of police that in, involves more cameras, more lighting, you know, special or a, a, a special duty patrol that's dedicated uh, car that's dedicated directly for Wedgwood, uh, fencing to, to limit ingress and egress. Like these are things that are um, tactically uh, important for the safety and security. Klein says so far the owners have been responsive, but if that changes, we're also not afraid to use litigation if necessary. I hope it doesn't come to that. Klein says these changes are necessary for the well being and safety of families in the area. Especially for the children at Wedgwood, as you noted, living right next to a school and giving them the opportunity to be the children that they want to be. He says that includes investment into the youth, which Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther says is a top priority. As I uh, contemplate proposing our budget for next year, you know, we really have to continue to invest in prevention, intervention, and enforcement, a comprehensive approach where health, recreation and parks, safety, police and fire are all working hand in hand. Klein says if it does come down to litigation, that would involve taking the Wedgwood apartment owners to court and filing a nuisance abatement action against them for violence and violation of city code. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.